Welcome to the Richard Lloyd USA YouTube channel. I'm Richard Lloyd. In my last video I made, uh, I showed you how to connect a USB printer, uh, only, a USB only printer to a router. It was a Netgear router. In this video I'm going to show you how to do the same thing, uh, but this time I'm going to show you how to do it with a Linksys router. And I will go through the manufacturers uh, that I have uh, routers on to do this, uh, basically to show you how to do it for every manufacturer because it's different on every manufacturer. So uh, you, let's say you have a, a USB printer connected to your computer and uh, it's only connected to your computer and nobody else can print for, for uh, from it. Uh, if you follow the directions in this uh, video, you'll be you'll be able to put it on your router, connect it to your router, and therefore everybody on the on your network will be able to uh, uh, print to it, including you, uh, through either Wi-Fi or Ethernet to the router. Now. Uh, one thing to understand here, and uh, here's what basically what we're going to have. Let me uh, open it up. We're going to have the, uh, uh, what I have anyways, is a PC uh, connected to a, a USB uh, printer, uh, well, to a printer with a USB port uh, on the back directly. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming that you have this setup already working perfectly and you need to have this configuration or the printer that you're going to do this with on the computer that you're going to print from connected physically together and working perfectly. Once you got that, then you can connect it to the router and follow the, the instructions on this video and you will be able to print to it uh, through the network, either through Ethernet or through a Wi-Fi connection, either way. Now this has to be done on every computer that you want to print on this printer through the network. So, uh, you know, if you got a laptop, you got to connect your laptop or your printer to your laptop physically with the cord, with the USB cord, install the drivers, make it all work, make it work fine, print all that, and then install the software that you need to uh, connect to it on the router. So every client that, that you wish to have access to the printer on the router needs to go through that process, okay? So I'm assuming that you've got a, a USB printer already connected to your laptop or your uh, uh, PC and uh, you're, you've got Windows and you're ready to go and it's working, okay? So this is what we got, what I have. And as you can see, I got a USB A connector going to a USB B connector. And if you see this connector here, you see that it's keyed and I'll show you what, uh, what you know, a few things to watch out for. But uh, here is uh, the, the configuration we're gonna have. Uh, I've got a Linksys EA 8300 and uh, it has a USB port on the back, USB 3 port on the back. And we will be using it. I got it connected here, but uh, as you can see, there's the port. Really nice. These are quite nice uh, routers. Um, you know, reliable, pretty quick. And, you know, from what I can tell, very uh, uh, cheap. So if you don't have a router with a USB uh, connection and you want uh, to do this then uh, you can buy one of these uh, on on uh, Amazon right now for $39.95 and I'll put the links in the video description below um, please use those as they help my channel and it doesn't cost you any more going directly to, uh, from there from the, the links in my video description to Amazon then going directly to Amazon so basically you help me out and it doesn't cost you a dime so do me a favor on that uh, and you can also get them on, on eBay used, uh, fairly cheap too, as you can see here. So not a bad uh, router. I, I can recommend it. I've had it for a long time and it works. So uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to connect it to uh, the printer to the back of the router. And then we're going to be uh, installing software on this machine to actually talk to it. Uh, in a way, what we're doing is we're creating a virtual USB connection to the printer through the network. So. Um, just wanted to show you something. My printer has Ethernet and a USB and a telephone jack. And, it, you know, another thing, if you have Ethernet on your computer, uh, on your uh, printer, uh, that is a better way to connect to it than actually through uh, um, USB. So uh, I would use that instead. Uh, and I also have a video and I'll put a card up here somewhere uh, that shows you how to uh, create a, a wireless printer with your Ethernet, if you have an Ethernet port on your printer. And it's like $15 worth of hardware to do that. And it's really much better than this solution. But if you only have USB and you want to connect it to your, your uh, router and make it networkable, this is a video for you, especially if you have a Linksys router with a USB port. So 
Here's what I wanted to show you. That USB-A connector will plug into the telephone jack. It will plug into the ethernet jack. Now again, you don't want to do either one of these. And uh, then of course it will plug into the USB port, okay? And as you can see back in this picture, there, the, the, the jack uh, or the port for the USB is keyed so the, the, uh, the um, connector needs to go in a certain way. So if it doesn't fit in, just turn it 90 degrees, try it again, turn it 90 degrees, try it again. And a third time, turn it 90 degrees and try it again. At that point, you'll have tried all, all the positions possible. If it's not going in, make sure you're putting it into the right port. And, uh, you know, again, be careful. Uh, don't plug it into the wrong port. Uh, I did all this with the power off and the uh, the uh, printer turned off too. So there's just no no way I could have fried it. But again, be careful. So uh, we've got the printer connected. Now the next thing you need to do is disconnect the printer from your PC. So um, I don't even have mine connected right now. But if it, if let me uh, connect it and uh, so I can show you how to do that. So down here, uh, let's see, I'm connected, everything's good. You should have uh, uh, an arrow up like this. And then over here, you have eject uh, any USB device. So you want to, I'm going to eject the Hewlett Packard HP LaserJet here. Okay. And then pull the USB cable out and just lay it down over there. And the next thing we're going to do is go get some software from Linksys. And uh, Linksys has a couple, okay, Linksys has a few ways of getting this software, uh, but I'm just going to show you the easy one. So I'm just going to do a Google search for uh, um, Linksys USB Control Center 2.2, okay? Just do that exact search in, in, in uh, um, Google and hit enter. Now, uh, yeah, I guess helps if I spell it right. Here we go. Linksys USB con Control Center 2.2. The first link you get, click on that. And I'll put that in the video description as well. All right. So here's the software for installing the, the USB printer to your uh, router. Uh, and I'm going to say accept all cookies here. And you want the 2.2 here, right? Now, there's if you're running Vista or XP, and like I just can't imagine that you still be running that. But if you are, there's a, a download down here. But we're we're not. I'm running Windows 10, and I'm hopefully uh, hoping you are too. But this will work for 7, 8, and 10. Okay, so I'm gonna click on download. I notice it doesn't show 11, so I don't know if it will work on 11. I'm using 10 anyway, so. Okay, so I've got the download here. I'm gonna go to the folder, which is the download directory. Okay, so I'll go over here to downloads. And you can see that it's got a zipper on it. That means it's zipped, it means it's compressed. So I'm gonna right click it and choose extract all. There's other ways of doing this, but this is the way I do it. And it will create a subdirectory or a directory in the download directory with all the drivers we need to install, okay? So, wait for that to uh, go all the way through. There we go, and it takes you right to it. So double click the folder that you have there, 2.2, and then you can see something cost or co setup. So that's the file you need to double click to install this software. So we're gonna do that. Close this or minimize this window. And you'll get this, you know, user account control. Say yes, of course. I'm gonna miss, minimize this and this stuff just to get the clutter down a little bit so there we go uh, click on next and just go with the defaults here start and down here though it doesn't really okay there it is uh, would you like to install this device software right yes of course we do we want to hit install all right so click install here and as the software installs you know, the bar will go across. It's very small. It's, it's quite quick, actually. Again, at this point, your USB printer should be disconnected. Okay, here we're going to hit yes to this as well. Uh, you want to say yes uh, to this firewall exception. So, there we go. 
and hit finish. And then you get this, uh, user account control, say yes. And then it says, compatible router with USB port was not found on your network. Why? Well, generally it's because we haven't plugged it into the router yet. So let's plug it into the router and you need to be connected to the router either through ethernet or Wi-Fi. And I'm connected to that router through Wi-Fi, which basically uh, then you'll see that you can actually con uh, Wi-Fi print to these print this printer, uh, which is a you know a really nice thing to be able to do with a USB only uh, uh, printer. So I'll plug it in. There we go. And look at that, just like that. Hewlett Packard HP LaserJet MFP and blah 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 found a new printer. Would you uh, like to auto connect to this printer? He said yes. All right. And the driver's installed because I've already installed this printer, right? So uh, again, it, this this installation process is kind of cryptic. Here you would think, you know, the circle's turning and you know, wait and uh, you know that I'm waiting for something. But actually, no, it's it's actually done at this point. I'm going to click OK here. I mean, you can wait longer if you wish, but it, I, I've waited longer and it just doesn't seem to make any difference. I'm going to click OK. All right, and it says double click to use, right? So I'm just going to do that. What the heck, right? There we go. And it connects. All right. So it's, again, you know, it works. It's kind of a little cumbersome, okay? Let's let's just say that. Go over here to tools, and uh, you have the option. You have your options here, and it shows you the options. Start USB control center with Windows starts, you know, all that. And you know we want the I'm going with the defaults I would figure that you would too because you would want this to start every time you start the computer up so that you don't have to go through the process of starting it manually so I'm gonna hit okay but those are the defaults then over here you can click on hide USB center okay and that makes it go away and it's you know in the background running and it will run again when you restart and if it shows up just click on the hide USB center okay so let's go print something uh, through the router and uh, you know, as you can see, I'll show you it. There we go. Uh, hopefully you can see that the USB port and it has a little green activation light there or, or you know, uh, uh, go light. So we're, we're good there on the, on the router. And I'm gonna go over here to settings and just print. So we're gonna go to the devices, printers and scanners. You'll see here. Uh, that you know Hewlett Packard and this driver unavailable thing it's something that this does when you install it through USB it was doing that before I plugged it into the router so here I'm gonna hit manage but it doesn't matter and hit print a test page and I can there we go I can hear it queuing up there we go Test print, no problem. I've been doing a lot of those today. So again, there, there it's installed and ready to go. And uh, you know, uh, nothing showing on here. You see your print queue down here. I'll double click it. And you know, uh, shows everything. Now it gives an exclamation mark to it here because it's kind of a weird connection, but you know, driver, driver error doesn't matter it will still print okay so if I go here to uh, printer prop uh, I think it's yeah let's go to properties I believe that's where you got to go um, print the test page does it again right so uh, regardless of this you know thing on my printer and I think there's some sort of issue with my printer and uh, Windows 10 uh, updates that just happened HP but doesn't matter, it's working just fine. You can hear, hear that print out. And uh, okay, so uh, th at this point, we're, we're basically done. If you have a problem with it connecting and seeing the router, uh, or the, the uh, and I'll show you where the program is, over here at USB Control Center. If you have a problem with this connecting to the router, just reboot your computer and try it again. That generally solves the issue. Uh, but that's you know how you connect a USB printer uh, and oh yeah, and again, if you hit 
the X up here to exit out of this, you're actually closing the program, which means that you're canceling the connection. So the best thing to do here with this, like I said, it's a little cumbersome. It's just high, go over here to tools and use hide USB control center. Okay, and that's it. All right, that's uh, it for my video. If you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a huge favor. Give me a thumbs up, a like at the bottom here. Also, uh, if you like my content, consider uh, subscribing and a you know by uh, clicking the subscribe button. And as a part of that process, you'll see a bell icon. That's the notification bell. Click the notification bell uh, when you're subscribing. And then every time I put up a new video, you'll be notified that I put up a new video and then you can watch it at your own leisure. And uh, uh, basically, comments section below the video. I look at those comments all the time. A lot of my videos are generated by questions asked in the comment uh, section. So I really appreciate the, the questions, the comments, suggestions, uh, you know, thank yous, all that stuff. I love it. And I talk to you guys, uh, uh, you know, I talk to everybody who comments on a regular basis. I, I try to keep up with all those comments. I get a lot. Uh, but I do keep up with them, uh, and uh, when I'm not making videos, I'm answering comments too. So I appreciate that. Again, use the links in the video description. That helps my channel. It doesn't cost you a cent, and you get the things that the exact same things that I use in this video, uh, you know, uh, delivered to you from either Amazon or eBay. So I appreciate that a lot uh, too. Okay. So once again, and like always, take care of yourself. Stay healthy. Stay happy. And we'll see you on the next video.